Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ajma'in. Allahumma anfa'ni bima alamtani wa alimni bima yanfa'uni wa zidni alman innaka al-alimun hakim. My topic today is about the Sifajal Devotikri types and location and some examples. Hoping you will like it. The Sifajal Devotikri the vertical of the GI usually produced when the mucosa and submucosa layers herniate through a defect in the muscular layer of the bowel wall. And in the GI tract, when it is occur in the GI tract, there is over outbulging, outbulging that project beyond the border of the lumen. The superficial diverticula are located in three locations, in the neck, around the carina, and above the diaphragm. And we see the examples of this. The zinc of diverticulum, it is a superficial diverticulum, characteristically occur in the neck, from the localized weakness in the posterior wall of the hypopharyngeal muscles, cricopharyngeal muscle, and it is acidodiverticulum because mucosa and submucosa have yet through the defect in the muscular layer. And it is posteriorly located. In the neck. The zinc of diverticulum is the only one of esophageal diverticulum that typically produce symptoms. Here we see a diverticulum in the region of the hypopharynx. It is zinc of diverticulum and filled of the barium and causing some indentation on the about ossificus. Traction diverticulum, it is occur in the mid ossificus and it is due to extrinsic disease like tuberculosis that cause fibrosis and this will pull the ossificus forming a traction diverticulum. and it is usually seen at the level of the carina. Here we see the barium swallow and we see the carina level here and there is a traction diverticulum in the middle of the esophagus due to inflammatory diseases in the chest like TB. Epiphrenic diverticulum, it is above the diaphragm in the distal esophagus, and it is like zinc of diverticulum, it is a, a pseudo diverticulum because, the, because there is herniation of the mucosa and submucosa through the defect in the muscular layer. Here we see this is the diaphragm and this is the esophagus, uh, this is the gastric fundus and this is the distal esophagus and this is the zinc of the verticulum located posteriorly in this esophageal gland. Thank you very much for listening and hoping to see you in another talk.